Right. Hi guys, Congratula congratulations. Well, well done on your season's best. Uh, Talk me through your race. So I knew I was in a world class field with the world number one and everyone in the top 10 and I'm just like um, 20th at the moment. So I knew it was going to be hard to keep with them. And I thought I had a decent start and I executed my race as I wanted it to be. It wasn't um, as quick as I would hope for it to be, but the track isn't uh, that quick of a track itself. Although it is definitely the, the strangest place I've competed at, but also amazing, strange in a good way, of course. Um, talk to me about the crowd. How do you find the crowd here? Do you like it? Hmm. Hmm. Now, what to say about the crowd? Can't bash them. <laughs> but uh, no, no, the crowd are amazing. They, they were good. They were great. I mean, I've been in stadiums where the crowd are kind of lackluster and a bit quiet, like meh, so they're running. But here they uh, kind of got behind it. I mean, to an extent, I felt like if the barriers weren't there, they'd be on the track with me. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, talk to me about you two relationship. I see there's some kind of banter going on. Is it love or, you know, well, what it is is that. Be nice. It's kind of like your little brother who wants everything you've got. Oh, re oh really? Indeed. Would you agree? Uh, but his little brother that's growing up bigger and stronger and better. So on that note, what is next for the two of you? Um, for me, I've got the World Juniors um, in Stoke Mandeville up from the 3rd to the 7th or 3rd to the 8th of August. So that's my next aim. And I would love to medal there and take his World Junior record. Well, all the best with that, Carl. Thank you very much. And yourself, Ola, what's next for you? Well... First at the Europeans, assuming I get selected for that. Selection's not till a few days. And then um, a few open meets in between and uh, trying to keep my records. So I'll keep on Facebook, keep clocking, refresh, see what happens.